So welcome back to JSR Garage, where you join me working on the Cortina. We're going to do a little mod here because, um, well, I'll show you. This is how it looks in a bone stock 66 1500 Cortina. You have a tiny little battery, which is, which is 45 amp. Down here we have a generator. It produces DC current, which is really low and not always wanting to charge. So if I turn on the heater, the uh, windscreen wipers and the high beams, well, let's just say that my charging light kind of lights up. I've measured it. On the battery, we have 12.456 maybe seven volts depending on how much stuff is on so seven twelve point seven is absolute max with everything turned off only the engine running it charges twelve point seven which is nothing that's what a good battery that's the lowest of what a good battery is supposed to be at on rest so i have been working on fixing that problem if you remember I had, at the, way at the back here, where the um, small box Chevy is now sitting in the engine stand, I had a Ken engine meant for the Escort. And Ken engine is exactly what's in the Cortina. So I decided to go find a newer Ken engine from a Mach 3 Cortina with an alternator. Because then I had the brackets for an alternator. And down here in between my 318, that small box Chev, is the Ken engine with an alternator on it. And the brackets. But for some reason, smart me decided to leave the 318 sitting on top of that alternator down there. Now that alternator is not good. It's not charging anything. So I'm going to take the bracketry off that engine. Put it on the Cortina. Because I've ordered from Germany a new alternator for a Granada. It's actually for a Granada. V6. Just like mine. So I ordered an alternator that would fit that car. 70 amps. 12 volts, and it will fit on the bracketry I have on that other, other engine down there. Then there's a little bit of wiring to be done. Well, rearranged. Shuffle the wires up here a little bit so I can get the power to go around that regulator because this thing, of course, has an inbuilt regulator. So I'm going to get to that now. Rip that thing off, rip the bracketry off the other engine, get that thing sitting down there. And we'll see how much this thing charges. And there we have it. Ye oldie generator is out. And ye moderny alternator is mounted. And hooked up with a um, new belt. Well, not new. It's an old one, but it's the right size. 9.5 by 825L. So we'll use that. Uh, I've uh, hooked the wires up. And I've also wired them together up here underneath the regulator. Because they're not supposed to be hooked up to the regulator. Now we're gonna fire it off, have a look, see if it, everything works. So here we have it, 12.43 on that battery right now. Let's get over here. Something's wrong because that, that lamp is lighting up. It's not supposed to do that now. Probably figure out why it's doing that. Car neutral. And it dies when I turn the ignition on. Well, car hasn't been fired up in a long time now, so we should. Uh... How much is it charging?
12.19, something's not right. I think we have a, um, it just keeps going up. So I think we have an issue with that, uh, that, um, well, it's gonna be this one here. Well, the uh, charging lamp, you see it's at 13.4 now. It's going up. Um, I'm gonna have to figure something out about that uh, charging lamp to figure out why it's doing that. But at least the voltage is rising and it's already a volt higher than what it used to be. It's a 13.7. So I'm seeing pretty good here. Figure out what's wrong with it, then um, yeah, this is gonna be good. All right, so I looked at this a little while before I realized what was wrong here. The, um, one of the thick leads that goes to, uh, the regulator from stock has a thin one, same color, going back into the loom, and that one's the one that goes to the charging lamp. So, for some reason, so that is why I had to rev it up to get the, uh, Alternator to magnetize. This is the same issue I had on the Granada where I knew about it. Um, so the two wires that I had hooked together that I meant was for the um, charging lamp was one of them goes to one of those small relays on front here. This little one right here is this wire that I hooked up. So it seems that in here we have this little brown and yellow one it goes into the loom, into the engine, well, into the cabin and two of the charging light. So that is the one I have to cut off and put this bait connector on and hook it up to this one, which goes to the alternator. So when I put the ignition on, I have 12 volts here. Well, this is gonna be the ground side of the light. So I have ground from there up through this wire into this one to the lamp, the light will be on. I start it, 12 volts that's coming through there from the um, light will magnetize the alternator. Alternator will start charging lose its ground, put 12 volts through that wire, and the lamp goes out. And then I should have proper voltage at my battery. So let's cut this thing off, put this on, and see if this will work. All right, so the wires are connected. This one is cut, it is wired into this one right here. So this is gonna be the main charge wire that goes 12 volts from there to the battery. If everything is all right, now, the all the charging light <clears throat> now if everything is all right the charging light in the car should not be on so we'll have a look and it is not on it should however light up when we turn the ignition on it does that's awesome great so let's plug up the uh, voltmeter and see what happens so we got it connected 12.52 on the battery maybe we can See if we can put this so we can see it from the. We can try to put this so we can see it from the window. Maybe the 940 is lighting up a storm, so I can see it. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. If I turn the flash off, yeah, 12.53 ignition on. Car in neutral. Choke is out. We'll get two pumps on the accelerator. Twelve point 
13. Thirteen three slowly working itself back up, yep. We got thirteen four and down at the amp gauge we have five amps of charging. So let's turn low beams on. High beams. For some reason my gauge lights go out on high beam might be that wire that I removed but the amp gauge is nice and steady the voltage let's just see here this is a bit stubborn there it goes. Still charging. It's a 13 1. Yep. That's with pretty much all of my consumers on. Tell this is, well, this hasn't had electricity, so we'll turn this thing off if I remember how to get into demo mode on this thing set up demo off is there a CD in this thing? there is oh, Volbeat turn that off yeah, alternator is charging nice good amps we have low beams on with the fog lamps. We're getting a lot of exhaust in this place, but yep. Yeah. 12.6. You can see how exhausty it is in here. So that's why it's good to have ventilation. Yep, yeah. everything on, everything working. Let's um, get back around here. 12.6. Yeah. So that's how you get the uh, charging in one of these cars a lot better. Dish saddle generator. I am not going to throw that away. That's going to go in the shelf with other parts for this thing. I have another starter. That's going to go there. I'm going to have to buy another fan belt when that fits. Um, that was nine and a half by 25. Because I have a spare one of those. That's a new one, and I have a spare one in the trunk. So I'm gonna buy two of those, put those in the trunk. I like having spare parts. I also have spare fuel filters. But yeah. Might have to do a better connection on these two. Figure something out there. Uh yeah. That's how I fix the charging on one of these put an alternator in get some actual power oh it's getting exhausting in here now so we'll turn that off turn the lights off and ignition yep I'm happy so yeah from this exhaust filled room. It is cold out, it's winter. I mean, yeah. It's not just exhaust coming out of my mouth. So yeah, with us, I'm gonna call it a day. The Cortina is up charging properly this time because I've run out of electricity with that generator so many times that it's been annoying. But now we have a good source of charging and I'm confident this thing won't, well, freak out and run out of electricity like it's done so many times already but this thing is going to stay in here for um, a few more months it's been in here a couple already and it's already get, getting real dusty 
because of that room in there. So, uh, yeah. That's how we're going to do with this. The, uh, just wait for just wait for a day when this thing can roll back out when there's no longer any snow I have it on snow tires but that's just because in case I have to pull it out something else has to come in to get worked on and that is how you put an alternator on an old can engine where the generator is no longer up to its job that one's not old either so <laughs> that's the worst part thank you very much for watching like comment, subscribe down below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video take care